Hey, what is up Design Squad? Welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the touchy subject dealing with difficult project, difficult people as a UX designer. So then let's say you start to question if you can continue with this specific issue, with a specific project, and you start questioning everything about it. If you haven't had a case like that in your career yet, you're gonna definitely encounter that at some point. So it's always good to be prepared. Some things for some people are just really tough. It could be the setting, it could be motivation factors, it could be other difficult parties involved. And specifically I had this project for months and I had to question exactly if I can continue for the next few months. I questioned if my placement was right. Maybe I should go for, you know, a different employer. Maybe I should move on somewhere. I question if my teammates who I manage, you know, other designers are actually enjoying it. I questioned if the people I'm involved with are, you know, competent enough. You know, that's why we get a lot of burnout, let's say in creative space, in tech space, in user experience. A lot of people just don't understand what, let's say, user centricity is and that you have to do proper user research to arrive at proper solutions which are usable and that user experience is great. That's user experience 101, right? But not everybody knows. So you always have to educate, you have to go extra mile, you have to do extra curriculum activities which lead to burnout. But the video is not really about just, you know, venting that, hey, some cases are just difficult, some cases are just not designed for a lack of a better word to be perfect. The human nature always reverses it back Let's say if you fix one challenge, your just mind is gonna look for another challenge. If you have a difficult client or someone else who makes your life difficult and you solve it, you get a new project, you're gonna find a new challenge and a new difficult client and a new difficult person to deal with. Our minds in user experience, let's say, are made for it. We're looking for inefficiencies. We're looking in factors which we need to fix. So you're always gonna encounter issues. If something is very difficult, if something, you know, just makes you question everything, you need to almost either sabotage your mind so you don't think about it, or you need to change something. You know, typically our projects, however difficult we are, they could be weeks, they could be months, they could be years, but you always have a segment, right? You always have that, the end game. What's the end goal? Because every project you do is an investment for your future. Every project is your UX case study. Think about that. It doesn't matter how difficult it is, you always need to think about the end game. To me, let's say if I'm starting something and I know it's gonna be very challenging and difficult, I'm just sucking it up and I say, okay, what can I get out of it? If I'm gonna suffer for the next few weeks or next few months, at least I'm gonna come up with a strong case study. And I'm gonna make sure that whatever we come up with is gonna be the best it can be. One, it gives me a distraction because I'm oriented towards a goal. Two, it actually makes the deliverables much better because you're personally invested for to make the project success. You overlook all those nuances. You know, some of them could be warranted, some of them could be very subjective. Maybe just a person, interpersonal stuff you can't get along with, will focus on something else, focus on a case study, focus how you could arrive there. And so you rewire your brain to actually look for the best things. Use the growth mindset rather than a scarcity driven, very fixed mindset. What you can double down on those positive notes and good bits instead of just kind of going deeper and deeper into that dark place where let's say you question everything or you're so challenged you cannot move on and you feel stuck. Number two is just to have perspective. Is the difficult project you always have? Maybe you need to reflect on your skills, on your team, on the organization. Maybe it's just not a good fit. You know, all those different bits. If it's continuous, it's a specific client or specific employer and every interaction is difficult. Chances are it's just not a good fit and you might want to change something. Again, changes have to be drastic for them to make an impact especially at that level where it's, it's challenging for you as a designer. And if you cannot achieve a perspective yourself, you can always talk to other people. There is massive communities, design networks. If you email people or reach out to them, they're gonna be happy to contribute. The answer as if everything is always within yourself, maybe all you need is just an ear for you to talk it out and see the points laid out like experienced map for a lack of a better term. And a third, hack 
is really about the user. Think about it. If the project is challenging, maybe you're struggling to make things right. Maybe you're struggling to focus on the right things. Maybe it's a struggle from someone else. Maybe, again, someone just doesn't understand what UX is about. If you're the only UX designer on a project, or maybe you have several UX designers on a project, it's for a reason. You are the UX advocate. You are the user advocate. If you wouldn't be in place, and again, it's all about that growth mindset, just tricking yourself into believing that you can keep on going until you can actually get the reward, not giving up, even if it's hopeless or you question everything. And you're there for a reason. Just imagine what the team or that client would do if they wouldn't have a user advocate. They would take the business requirements, they might struggle to find a user advocate like yourself, or they might get a new user advocate. Maybe they would face the same challenges you do. If you're there, it means that the time aligned, that the positions aligned, the requirements aligned, the resourcing aligned, you're there for a reason. Without you at this specific point, if you are struggling right now, the project would fail or would be subpar in the end because the deliverables, you know, the solution, service or product wouldn't be good enough. So think about those things. It's gonna distract you as well because you're gonna think a bit more holistically. You're going to think about yourself as a critical piece in a project rather than as a supplement, even if it, let's say, someone doesn't value your input as a UX designer. Well, too bad for them. Do the best you can do and contribute and solve the problems in a specific user-centered way so that at least the solution closer to being perfect or what you envision to be perfect or you know rightful meaningful for the end user and business and so these are the three simple hacks of what i use let's say to deal with difficult ux projects or difficult projects where ux let's say is undervalued or where you feel stuck or question things and you just need perspective you need that growth mindset that positivity that boost and so i hope it's helpful if so give a like share with your teammate maybe who is feeling a bit stuck don't forget to subscribe as well to this channel if you like this type of material and on that note i'll see you next time